just want to let you guys know before the start of this episode you're about to watch that the Chevelle sold the other day. We didn't make a killing on it, but we did walk away with a couple hundred bucks each, so that's a good deal to anybody. Uh, it would have been great if it was thousands of dollars each, but honestly, the bodywork needed a lot of work. Um, and it's it's the thing that would have costed the most to do on the car. So you either spend four grand and make four grand more because of the good body, or just say, forget it and take what you can, give nothing back. Okay, on to the new episode. It's my What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Thousand Dollar Car Guy. We finally got a new vehicle that we can get ready to sell. So how do I put this? I normally buy stuff that I'm very comfortable with, uh, stuff that I've owned before typically, and this is one of those cases where it's something I've never owned before. I have owned the brand, but never the car itself. This week's project car is a 2006 Honda Civic SI Coupe. So let me take you around this bad boy. That's a leaf. The entire car has been repainted, probably not for good reasons. Small dent there, small dent in the door. A um, couple scratches here and there. It is a used car and looks like some fading right there where it got rubbed. This is a six-speed manual transmission car. And you may be thinking, wow, look at this Glade. Yeah, that's because this was owned by a smoker and it absolutely reeks in here. Take your favorite leather couch and dose it in smoke. That's what it smells like. Um, as far as back seats go, yeah, it's, it's got some. They're, they're pretty nice. It does have a moonroof, haven't tried it. The trunk button doesn't work. But that does, so that's nice. Um, previous owner had some clutch pieces replaced and gave us some free jumper cables. So that, that that's cool, I guess. Underneath, it is fairly clean, and this one doesn't have a whole bunch of water in it like they normally do. I don't know what this piece is, so anybody at home, let me know what this is. Not a whole lot of cleaning to do back here, which is a nice change for once in a while. There's not a whole lot of nooks and crannies in this car, but in here, look at all that paperwork. Uh, we should probably go through that. Ooh, a penny. Nice. I don't think there's anything inside the door pockets either. Nothing in the little cubbies and stuff. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope, just a 12 volt adapter. Hey, they put cup holders in the back. That's sweet. Yeah, nothing good. Oh, I spoke too soon. Earbuds. Blech. Napkins. Pens. All clean. So I just spent 20 minutes going through the paperwork that was in this car. I'm not going to say anything about what I found, but that door just shut on its own. Okay, so I'm not going to say anything about what was in that paperwork, but this is just a public service announcement to clean out your cars every once in a while. And I'd like to go over to Michael Jordan for this next part. Stop it. Get some help. This thing is definitely not my typical type of car. Uh, well, one being a Honda, but it does have a bunch of little neat things. Like there's a little auxiliary input down here. That's cool. None of my cars have that. Power outlet, little USB charger. This is probably aftermarket, obviously, but there's there's nothing to do in here. Oh, oh, I want to mention. I almost died driving the thing back home because of this aftermarket floor mat was covering up the gas pedal so it's like uh oh I wish I could slow down but I can't so the Honda being a smoker's car my wife got me this um, it absorbs odors we're gonna try and pop this in there and see if it helps over the next couple days 
Pull tire. Oh. Oh, you're supposed to pull the sticker off. That makes sense. Mmm. Smells like freshness. Okay, can you guys see anything? This is my first, like, heads up display sort of thing. I have no idea how it's gonna look. Uh, that's a motor. VTEC. Um, yeah, it runs. So I guess we're gonna try and go for a test drive and see what happens. What's this say? Bennett? I'm very curious to see how this turns out. My guess is it's gonna be up too high. And you're not gonna see anything that's going on. Hey, there's me. That's neat. It's got red lights underneath. That's cool. I like that it tells you how fast you're going in reverse. I don't think that's useful, I just think it's kind of neat. I would say this car is pretty quick for what it is. I guess it's a Civic Si, it's supposed to be like the fastest thing. Um, this car gave me the first ever VTEC experience I had. And I don't really see what all the fuss is about. It gets louder, but it didn't go any faster. I guess I'll try it again sometime tonight. See how it goes. Uh, I don't know how to turn my headlights on. Alright, I guess like that. We're not going to go too far. Just wanted to give you guys a little what's what with this Honda Civic. I'm very cautious of shifting into sixth gear because I guess it's it, it wants to go towards fourth, but I don't want it going fourth at that speed. That's a pretty sunset. I guess we're gonna have to clean this windshield up quite a bit. The car does pull to the right, and I saw in the paperwork that was in the glove box that the left tie rod end was replaced, but not the right. I don't know why you wouldn't just do both, probably for money reasons. I heard these transmissions aren't the strongest, so we're trying not to put a lot of stress on it. Uh, tire pressure monitoring system, that's been on this whole time. I don't think it has the sensors in the tires themselves. In a way, this feels a lot like every GTI I've ever owned, except they're not turbocharged. I guess the modern Civics are now, but I don't know, I'm not much of a Honda guy. All right, let's try and get into a little bit of VTAC here. quick <laughs> it's quicker than I give it credit put it that way there's a mosquito on my arm right now ha <laughs> ha oh let's just put that on the ground all right I guess let's get this thing home so a couple hours later I ended up talking to my neighbor for quite a while he had some computer problems so we just went over there real fast I gotta say that that little hockey puck thing that my wife got is really making the car smell a lot better, or not smell like anything, I should say. Um, there's a bunch of stuff from Tires Plus where uh, parts were replaced with the suspension, like uh, tie rod ends and things like that. I don't know why I did that. I'm going to be spraying the car down with this Zorb X. Uh, my neighbor says it's great for cigarette smell, so we're going to give it a try and see what happens. I'm just going to spray it ludicrously everywhere. Probably should have read the instructions before doing this. Oh well. What's the worst that can happen? It smells better than cigarette smoke? Something funny that happened when buying this. The previous owner said that you know he was really, really sorry because it didn't come with a jack. 
I'm like, all right. He's like, well, it should have a jack. What happens if you break down? I don't know. Call friend. <laughs> I like that there's an air freshener hanging back here. Pew, pew. My hand is soaked from this thing leaking. Oh well, we're all done, I guess. Yeah, sure, that looks good. So we are going to let that soak in overnight and see what happens tomorrow.